So I believe it is in week two of the course, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct, week two of the course. We will be looking in some detail <clears throat> at this essay by Hans Jonas, Technology and Responsibility, Reflections on the New Tasks of Ethics. It's a, an essay that you'll need to know well, and we, again, will be looking at it, uh, talking about it in, in detail, but uh, in explanation of why the course is structured the way it is and what my conception of it is, this essay and its major thesis uh, as applied to the question of artificial intelligence is crucial. And so I thought that in the introductory section, I give you some sense of, of what, what, in my mind at least, is going on. This is an essay by 20th century philosopher Hans Jonas, written approximately 1973. And he floats a very daring philosophical thesis, which is not just a philosophical thesis, it's a daring thesis about the human condition itself as he saw it in the early 1970s. And if you look at the opening lines, you see what he's said, uh, that all of our previous ethics, and that would mean philosophical ethics, the virtue ethics of Aristotle, uh, the utilitarian ethics of John Stuart Mill, the deontological ethics of Immanuel Kant, also uh, religious approach, approaches to ethics, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that they all find themselves, or we find that they are insufficient to deal with our current situation as human beings, because our current situation as human beings is unique and completely novel. And that situation is that our Technology has grown to such a point that it has the ability to make permanent changes in time and space. Changes not only to the whole globe, and you can think of global warming as such a development, but also to human nature itself. And the power of these you know, technology to make these kind of changes is completely new. Um, in the old days, uh, of course, Jonas says, and we'll see, human beings have really always had technology, but never the kind of powerful technology that could make the kind of permanent changes in the human condition that our current technology can. And so that our ethics, which were developed during a period where no one really thought that human action could have make such drastic and permanent changes, is unsuitable for some aspects of modern life. We have to develop a new ethics, he says, and that's where the problem is. What would that new ethics look like? I, <clears throat> the uh, Jonas thesis, as I've just outlined it, is important for this course and obviously is a lens through which to try to come to terms with the issue of artificial intelligence. <clears throat> and perhaps the, the, the the, the central question of this course is whether or not AI, as it's developing now and as it promises develop in, to develop in the future, constitutes one of those major changes uh, in the power of our technology so that it poses novel, new questions that we aren't really prepared to answer with our old ethics. That's really, I mean, that, that may not be completely clear, but I hopefully it will be put in so many different ways that the issue will eventually become clear. But that is the central issue of the course, the central question of the course. I, I do think that artificial intelligence uh, personally is a candidate for the kind of technology, the kind of growth in technology or the kind of development of technology that does in fact pose ethical questions. Some of them perhaps are questions that can be well dealt with with our, with our traditional ethical decision making models from previous ethics, some of them perhaps not. So that's just a sense of uh, what the course generally is about. And we will, of course, return to Hans Jonas in week two and look at him in more detail.